Dear students, now we are going to discuss common collector amplifier and its small signal analysis in detail. Common collector amplifier is also called as emitter follower amplifier. Here consider a CC amplifier with voltage divider by a circuit. In this circuit, input is given to this base terminal. Output is taken from this emitter terminal. Collector is common to both input and output terminals. Okay. Hence, it is called as common collector amplifier. Here Vs represents voltage signal source. Rs represents source resistance. Coupling capacitor is mainly used to provide DC isolation between the input and the amplifier circuit. Okay. R1 and R2 resistors form the voltage divider circuit at the input side to provide proper biasing to the transistor. Here the output is similar to the input one. So here as the output is taken at this emitter terminal which follows the input signal as such. That means there is no phase change in voltage as well as current. That means if the input is given like this, the same can be obtained as the output. Okay. Hence it is called as emitter follower. Do you all understand this concept? As the output is taken at the emitter terminal which follows the input signal as such. That's why it is called as emitter follower. Do you all understand this one? So that's what given here. Next we are going to draw the small signal AC equivalent circuit. For that we have to follow certain steps. So first we have to remove the DC effects of the supply voltage VCC by grounding it. So there is no supply voltage VCC in this equivalent circuit. Here that R1 and R2 both are combined together as a parallel component. Vs in series with this Rs and then R1 parallel to R2 element emitter resistance across that we can get the output signal. Here capacitors are short circuited. The next step we are going to replace this transistor with its equivalent hybrid pi model. Okay. Next small signal equivalent circuit of CC amplifier using hybrid equivalent circuit. In this circuit, the voltage source Vs in series with Rs, R1 in parallel to R2. The transistor is replaced with its equivalent circuit with parameters R pi, beta IB and RO. Here this R pi represents the small signal internal base emitter resistance. RO is the internal small signal output resistance between collector and emitter. Beta IB is the current element in the equivalent circuit. Collector is grounded here. Okay. RE is the emitter resistor across which we can take the output voltage. So this is the equivalent circuit of this CC amplifier. For further simplification, ground all the signals at the same point. Okay. So for simplifying this, change the direction of this current flow to connect this point as a common ground point. So for that, we can consider this simplified equivalent circuit. In this one, Vs in series with Rs. Here R1 parallel with R2, R pi, beta IB. Here the direction of current element is changed, okay, to make all the signals at the common point ground point okay so next ro then re so in this one i i represents the actual input current to the amplifier circuit i b is the base current to the transistor i o is the mid output current from this current element and the actual output is the emitter current okay so here v s is the actual source voltage signal here VI is the input voltage to this transistor and here VO is the output across this RE resistor. Do you all understand the circuit? Here the overall input resistance is RI. This RI is equal to R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with 
this ri dash okay so what is this ri dash this is nothing but the input resistance to this transistor circuit so ri dash is nothing but what vi the input voltage by ib so that is what ri dash okay so here the overall input resistance is equal to r1 parallel with r2 in parallel with this ri dash okay so this side the overall output resistance is ro so next we are going to analyze the characteristics of this cc amplifier using this small signal equivalent circuit so the characteristics are input resistance output resistance voltage gain current gain okay next we are going to analyze the input resistance of the cc amplifier the overall input resistance is the parallel combination of r1 r2 and ri dash okay so here this ri dash is equal to vi by ib in the next step we are going to find out the relation between these two okay so for that we can get the value of this vi okay so vi is equal to what v pi plus vo that is the vi value so here v pi is equal to ib multiplied with this r pi that is the voltage drop across this r pi resistance so here v pi is equal to what ib into r pi so here vo is equal to ivo multiplied with the combination of ro and re that is the output voltage so that's what given here vi is equal to v pi plus vo here v pi is equal to ib into r pi vo is equal to ivo multiplied with the parallel combination of ro and re as we all know that here this output current is given as this output current is equal to what the sum of this ib and beta ib that is the output current so here we can write this ivo is nothing but ib plus beta ib into ro parallel with re okay then we can take this ib outside in the next step we are going to substitute this v pi value and vo value in this expression so here vi is equal to what v pi is nothing but ib r pi plus vo is the value 1 plus beta into ib ro parallel with re then we can take this ib as a common one then vi is equal to ib into r pi plus 1 plus beta into ro parallel with re consider this as the second equation okay so vo value is the first equation here vi is the second equation so from this we can move this ib to the left hand side as a denominator then we can get vi by ib is equal to r pi plus 1 plus beta into ro parallel with re as we all know that the ratio of voltage vi to ib is nothing but ri dash okay that is the input resistance to the transistor okay so ri dash is equal to r pi plus 1 plus beta into ro parallel with re where this ri that is overall resistance is equal to r1 parallel with r2 parallel with ri dash so consider this as the third equation this is the input resistance of cc amplifier so next one is voltage gain of cc amplifier that is the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage so here output voltage is vo input voltage is vs here we can use one intermediate voltage vi for further simplification so this can be written as vo by vi into vi by vs we have already derived this vo and vi values in the previous analysis so next we are going to find out the relation between this vi and vs we can simply consider this ratio as fourth equation av is equal to vo by vi into vi by vs from first and second equations vo value is 1 plus beta ib ro parallel with re and vi is equal to ib into r pi plus 1 plus beta into ro parallel with re so next we are going to find out the relation between vi and vs using voltage divider rule at the input side okay so if we are going to find out this vi value we have to consider the overall voltage vs multiplied with ri divided by ri plus res okay so here we can move this vs to this side then vi by vs is equal to ri by ri plus res okay then we can substitute all these values in this ratio 
then we can get a v is equal to v o value divided by v i value multiplied with v i by v s value. Do you all understand this one? Then we can simplify these terms. We can get the answer as a v is equal to 1 plus beta into r o parallel with r e divided by r pi plus 1 plus beta r o parallel with r e into r i by r i plus r s. That is input resistance divided by input resistance plus source resistance. Okay. So that is the voltage gain value. Okay. If this r o value is greater than this r e and r i value is greater than this r s then this value is approximately equal to 1 that is unity okay so next one is current gain it is the ratio of output current to the input current the actual output current is i e that is emitter current in i in between these two currents there are two currents i b and i o here i b is the base current to the transistor i o is the mid output current for this current gain analysis we have to consider the equivalent circuit First, we are going to relate this base current with this input current and mid current with this base current and the actual output current with this mid output current. So, here we can consider this input side. So, we are going to apply current divider rule. From this, we can get this IB. That is the base current is equal to the total current II multiplied with the opposite resistance value. Correct? In current divider rule, we are going to use opposite resistor divided by the overall resistance value. So, here we can simply say IB is equal to what? Base current is equal to the total input current II multiplied with opposite resistances R1 divided, parallel with R2 divided by the overall resistance. That is R1 parallel with R2 plus RI dash. Okay. So, this is the overall resistance value. From this, we can move this II to this side. So, IB by II is equal to R1 parallel R2 divided by R1 parallel with R2 plus RI dash. Okay. So, that is the first relation. For this next relation, IO is equal to what? So, simply we can say using KCL, IB plus beta IB is equal to IO. So, here we simply write IO is equal to IB plus beta IB. We can take this IB as a common one and then relate IO and IB. The last one is IE and IO. Here IE is equal to the input current is IO. So here we can mention this one. The emitter current is equal to IO multiplied with the opposite resistor is RO divided by the overall resistance RO plus RE. So that's what given here. The base current at input node using current divider rule is given like this. So, base current is equal to I i into R1 parallel with R2 divided by R1 parallel with R2 plus R i dash. Then we can move this I i to this side. That is input current to this side. We can get the first relation. Consider this as the second equation. Okay. So, next the relation between I o and I b. So, here we can simply apply K C L. So, I o is equal to I b plus beta I b. We can take this IB as a common one and move this IB to this side. We can get IO by IB is equal to 1 plus beta. Consider this as the third equation. So the last one is overall output current that is emitter current is equal to output current IO into RO by RO plus RE. Then we can move this IO to this side to get the next relation. Consider this as the fourth equation. In the next step we are going to substitute these three equations in the current gain formula okay next we are going to substitute this relations in this current gain we can get ai is equal to ro by ro plus re 1 plus beta into r1 parallel with r2 by r1 parallel with r2 plus ri dash okay so here we can assume that r1 parallel with r2 combination is always greater than the input resistance of the transistor and also the internal resistance is always greater than Re, then this current gain is approximately equal to 1 plus beta. That means the current gain is very high in CC amplifier. The voltage gain is approximately equal to unity. Okay. So next one is output resistance. For analyzing this output resistance, we have to make some assumptions 
the first one is input signal is idle that means it is short circuited there is no input voltage given here the source resistance becomes zero so if you want to find out the output resistance we need to give some test voltage at the output side consider the test voltage as vx okay so here ix is the output current towards this transistor so here we are going to find out the output resistance ro using the relation vx by ix correct so resistance is equal to v by i then we are going to obtain the value of this vx first we are going to substitute the kvl to this output side loop so here we know that the sum of voltages around the loop is equal to 0 so here v pi that is the voltage drop here v pi plus vx is equal to 0 that's what given here apply kvl to the loop v pi plus vx is equal to 0 from this v pi is equal to minus vx so next we are going to apply kcl to this loop sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents then we can get ix plus gm v pi is equal to vx by r pi that is current through this r pi resistor vx by ro that is the current through this ro resistor here it is and through re resistor okay so in the next step we can simply replace this v pi with the value minus vx okay so v pi is equal to what minus vx here we can take this vx as a common one okay then we can move this vx to this side we can get ix by vx here minus gm by vx then vx vx divided here ix by vx is nothing but 1 by ro vx by ix is ro means ix by vx is 1 by ro do you all understand this one next we can write this ix by vx is 1 by ro then we can move this transconductance gm to this side as plus so 1 by ro is equal to gm plus 1 by r pi plus 1 by ro plus 1 by re so if you want to take the reciprocal then we can get ro is equal to here it becomes what 1 by gm plus this term so 1 divided by 1 by r pi plus 1 by ro plus 1 by re that means parallel combination of this three right so we can simply write the output resistance ro is equal to 1 by gm that is transconductance parallel with r pi in parallel with ro in parallel with re that is the important point here so output resistance is nothing but the parallel combination of r pi ro re and 1 by gm so for further simplification we can take this value as such so in this one in this transconductance we can multiply the numerator and denominator with the value r pi here we can get gm into r pi is nothing but what the current gain beta so this term can be written like this beta by r pi 1 by r pi plus 1 by r o plus 1 by r e so r pi r pi is a common here we can take it outside so 1 by r o is equal to 1 by r pi into 1 plus beta plus 1 by r o plus 1 by r e if you are going to take the reciprocal we can say r o is equal to r pi by 1 plus beta in parallel with r o in parallel with r e this is an another expression for this output resistance okay so next the overall characteristics of cc amplifier are given here it has high input impedance low output impedance high current gain that is around 1 plus beta voltage gain is approximately equal to unity no current or voltage phase shift so that's why it is called as what emitter follower do you all understand that one the output is taken across the emitter resistor which follows the input as such there is no phase shift okay this common collector amplifier is widely used as a buffer amplifier okay